Welcome to Kingston Moor College Farm. Uh, my name is David Cottrell. I've been at the college now for about nine years. The uh, college has a quite a diverse, quite diverse farming enterprises. We have a dairy. We have uh, about a hundred cow dairy. We have uh, a small beef unit. We've even got a small pig unit alongside arable and grassland. The enterprise we're talking about today is obviously sheep. Uh, we have about 400 ewes on the college farm, mainly um, clins um, and mules. I've been here about nine years um, and in my time here we've actually gently changed the main flock round to clins. I inherited a fairly old flock of, of mules um, which are gently began being uh, phased out. Okay, the farm runs about 750 acres. The sheep are actually mainly grazed on uh, water meadows. We have about 70 acres of water meadows that they, they actually go onto. Although last year it was fairly challenging because most of those were under water. We do have problems with fluke and as part of the scheme we've been able to work out the ways that we can actually deal with fluke. Part of the scheme has been great being uh, um, able to get hold of vets when I want them, some very experienced people who have been able to give us some really good advice when we wanted them. Rams we use are Charolais, Suffolk. Um, in the past we've tried Texel, we've tried quite a few different sorts of breeds but ended up looking at the Suffolks and the uh, Charolais as our terminal sires. We breed as many of our uh, homebred animals as we can, so that's purebred clins, to put back into the flock. The reason we like clins are, for us, um, they're quite small sheep, they're quite small hardy sheep, which are able to be used by the students, as well as being quite prolific um, and being a fairly good standard um, sheep that a lot of commercial enterprises will use. So the flock, as I say, stands about 400, uh, mainly lambing in the the spring. Our, our lambing tends to be centred around uh, lambing weekends that the public actually come to. First weeks of March are our main uh, periods for lambing. The um, uh, lambs are sold mainly as fat lambs uh, and this was one of our targets to actually look at increasing our, our grades and making those um, more cost effective for us. The um, lambs are all sold through our local slaughterhouse, which is Southern Counties, or ABP at Yetminster. I like to use the local slaughterhouses so the animals don't uh, travel too far. Um, we will get grades fairly quickly back from the slaughterhouse um, for us to use for student information as well as our own information. Okay. Weights are sold at um, uh, as near as we can at 20, 21 and a half kilos. Um, obviously aiming for the standard grade R3L, uh, which we are quite successfully achieving most of the time. We uh, became a focused flock here at the college um, in association with our, with our farm vets. Uh, we'd realised as we were planning the um, flock health programme that there were just some issues year after year that just um, kept really coming up and we wanted to tackle those problems. It was great here being at the college because we could communicate those problems to our, our wider audience, our other farmers and our students. And the, the, you know, the, the farm flock is, is fairly commercial um, so we had all of the issues that everybody else had and those, those we thought could be tackled. The targets we set ourselves were to improve carcass conformation, um, look at the reasons why we were having problems with pasturella and um, looking at new nutrition, certainly around the lambing period. We were having a few problems with ewes that were prolapsing um, and nutrition was, was highlighted as being one of those, one of those issues. Starting first with the target one, improving carcass conformation. We've gently been doing that and certainly last, last year, although we had a fairly wet, wet season, it appeared our grades had got better. And that was really down to looking at the rams we were using and also looking at the way we marketed our, our lambs. A direct result of that is we, we become financially more um, effective. Second one was looking at pasturella, looking at the timings of the vaccines. Um, and, and with our vets and certainly just, just a little bit of gentle research, we were able to find that we could vaccinate our lambs a little bit earlier with the Hepvac P, with a, a, a double dose, fairly on in their lives, and that actually saved an awful lot of the deaths that we were actually incurring later on in the season. We, we were having lambs dying probably in the autumn who were not quite covered by the pasture the vaccine properly and efficient, efficiently. Third one is slightly more ongoing. The new nutrition uh, is something we we are continually working on. We still do suffer from a, f a few prolapses. We have a, an awful lot of different sort of people feeding our sheep uh, because they're well used by the, by the uh, students that are here. 
this is going to be ongoing and the, the target really we're setting ourselves for next year is to to really look at the the um, concentrate that we're feeding the ewes we're quite comfortable we've changed away from using silage on our sheep we're using a straw based ration now um, and improvements have been made because of that we certainly use blood tests to ensure that the ewes energy levels are, are high enough so so really we're just looking at the the, the small finer detail now of, of actually looking at the cake the amount of cake we potentially feed our different groups we do scan our ewes and we send them we put them in uh, certain feeding groups so we're actually doing quite a lot but there's something more we can do and, and that's a target ongoing for next year offshoots of this, this project are quite nice we have found that uh, lameness was one area where we didn't really target to begin with we would actually vaccinated our ewes uh, for foot rot um, any use that we had we were um, treating with antibiotic but actual fact we've looked at now of a program of, of really rigorously culling anything with with foot rot ensuring any animals we bring in uh, are foot rot free and we can we can vaccinate those as soon as they come through the come through the door almost um, and, and really highlighting how important it is for animal welfare to ensure that our sheep uh, continue to, to not be lame I think it's one of the things that my aim is, is not to have a lame sheep, actually any, any lame sheep that are hobbling around uh, need help, the, the feet hurt them. So um, with the vets that we're able to, to actually access as part of this scheme, that's really been helpful. Uh, and my biggest benefit is that actually in fact, I'm not having to trim the sheep's feet as often as I used to. Uh, real, real great benefit that. Okay. The other, the other scheme which is again is an offshoot is we were able to access uh, the vets to do a trial here for um, worm resistance. Uh, very keen to look at the Scots principles, make sure we worm animals really well before they come onto the farm. But also that, that we were able to find out that we had, have triple worm resistance here which was a, quite a shocker. So as part of this scheme again we're going to look at our, our, our flock health record and work out a program for going forward to ensure that the, the worms that we have left are used effectively and efficiently. Part of that is is actually doing worm samples. We've got a um, what we call a feck pack here, which we can use to, to sample lambs um, at any time we bring them in, just see what the worm burdens are, make a, a judgment call on whether it's worth worming them or not, and potentially seeing which wormers we use for that. Uh, the meetings that we've had at the college have been actually really, really quite interesting. They've, get, they've given a chance for us to to um, uh, show our local farmers the issues that we've had, but they've also highlighted issues that they've had. And they've, some people have come to me afterwards and said, actually thought they were really interesting because they focused their mind on improving their own flock. Not just accepting that um, sheep could be lame, sheep carry worms, sheep die, actually find out the reasons why those things happen. What the ultimate aim is, is to make the, their flocks um, pay for themselves uh, and I think that has certainly helped a lot of farmers to to think actually the flocks could be quite efficient effective um, effectively managed so I, I suppose at the end of the day the for me the the meetings have, have uh, been a way of discussing with local people and disseminating the information that we've been able to get from focusing on the flock on the college farm